Well, hello again from Fastnet. Well, once again, the sun is shining after a very wet, dismal week, and life this week seems to be edging a little closer to some kind of normality. From next week, people who are living alone can now meet in a bubble, so they're no longer isolated. They can even have a hug. I have to say, I'm really missing hugging my friends and family, but I know that I have to wait a bit longer yet. And we've heard that our church is going to now be open for private prayer. It may be a way, long way from having a normal Sunday service that so many of us would love to have, but we can at least now offer individuals a place of spiritual rest, a safe haven away from the everyday, a place to be still, a place where we can contemplate and seek God. And this is something that is so important, especially when the world is going through such a disruptive event as a pandemic that has caused us all so much stress and worry. Having a quiet space where we can just be is always needed, and particularly in such difficult times. This week, the church has celebrated the life of St Columba, an abbot and missionary. It brought back to mind a time in July in 2006 when Andrew and I were able to have a holiday that wasn't camping in the rain. We were about to go to Theological College and felt that a break away from everyday business was what we needed. So we went on a pilgrimage to Iona, taking the long drive to Oban, across Mull, and finally to the little island of Iona, staying in a very basic croft about a mile from the Abbey. Iona was the landing place for St Columba in 521, a long time ago. An Irishman, Columba felt called by God to take the message of Jesus to people of Scotland, so he crossed the Irish Sea in a small boat and arrived on Iona. It's a small and rugged but beautiful place with only a few inhabitants. Columbus spent a lot of time on Iona seeking God, accompanied by his 12 disciples. But he also spent time on his own in a hermit's cave, looking out towards the island of Staffa and Fingal's cave. It was this time alone and hearing from God that helped him understand what he was meant to do and who he was meant to be. And through his life, the Christian message of God's love was taken to Scotland and the island of Iona became a centre for Christian mission. So since 600 AD, this small but beautiful island of Iona has been a place of pilgrimage and prayer for people seeking God. And each year now, thousands of people arrive in Iona from all over the world to seek that quiet space and community. I can remember my first visit as if it was yesterday. As I walked into the Abbey, the sense of God's presence was overwhelming. It's as if the prayers of all the people who have ever visited that place were somehow wrapped around me. I was left in no doubt that this was a very special and godly place. Many people describe our own as a thin place, a place where heaven seems much closer to earth than usual. And I have to say, from my experience, I'd certainly agree. And many of our churches have that same feeling. They are built to honour God and provide a safe, sacred space different to anywhere else. The prayers of the people who have worshipped there seem to be captured in the walls, and so many people sense something very special. And of course, churches are places where we mark the most important life events, baptisms of babies and weddings, festivals, memorials, and of course, funerals. They are places of community, where we meet to worship together and to share our lives together. And very importantly, our churches stand as beacons of light and hope in the world. Of course, the church is made up of people, and we have been as active in the world without our buildings these past few weeks. And in a sense, we have recaptured the experience of the very first Christians who had no buildings at first. They met in homes, and sometimes in secret. For many years they had no churches to meet in, and yet the message of God's love was spread throughout the world. So as we come out of this enforced lockdown, I pray that we'll all have had time to change a little. We've had more time to think and just be. We may sometimes have felt trapped and disconnected from the world and our usual freedoms have been taken away. But in all of that, God has always been with us. And perhaps as we come out into the world again and into the churches that we love, we can be even more aware of the sacred, more aware of the privilege we have of the God who knows us and loves us. And then we can, like Columba and many other saints, Take that great message of love into our world, a world which is in great need of healing and reconciliation. So may God bless you and all those you love this week. Amen. <laughs>